Hi, I'm Derek Wittmanaka and welcome to my guitar workshop for beginners. Playing the guitar has been nothing but fun for me. I have been on stage playing with other musicians since I was 16 years old. Learning to play an instrument is very much like um, learning to play a sport. What I mean is you have to train your hands and fingers in a certain way to play whatever you want to play. What most people don't understand is that it takes hundreds of hours of practice just to reach a certain level of playing. In this video, I'm going to show you the necessary exercises you need to have before you start your journey to become a guitarist. We start by learning how to develop muscles on both hands, finger exercises, wrist exercises. I have mapped out 10 exercises. Learn them in the same order shown on the video. Please don't skip or rush through any of these lessons. Start at a very slow pace. Make sure you can do exercise one comfortably before going to exercise two. Let's start with our first lesson. Okay, so first, when you take the guitar to your hand, keep it on your lap. You don't need to even tune the guitar for this lesson. You can just let it be as it is. And uh, we try to make some movement with your left hand, left hand and the right hand. Okay, and we are going to do this with by counting. So we count to four. One, two, three, four. Okay, at the count of one, you just play with the thumb. You can just go like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or if you use a pick, you can hold the pick comfortably and then go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's do it with the thumb. Yeah, for the moment, we we'll start with the thumb and then also with the left hand, we do the same thing. We go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you got both hands moving. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we'll do the same count, but we play on one and three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can keep doing this till you feel comfortable. Then you go on every count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? I think that's pretty easy. So now we'll try to do it with both hands, alternate hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We will change it. You go one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do it a bit differently. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
3, 4. So let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 3, 4. It gets difficult when you go on. But try to get it right. So you have, you can have, you can do a lot of exercises. You can do 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So that's the first exercise. Now, the reason I held the fretboard without holding notes is just that you need to have some movement with your hand. So we are doing 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm using this part of the fretboard because later on I'll be playing here. The reason is the frets are close to each other here. See? Unlike here. Here they are far apart. So you have to stretch. So it's difficult to stretch and play. But if you're here, start playing from here. I'll be playing from here. One, two, three, four. So it's very close. So your, your fingers are right next to the fret and you, get, you can produce a nice note. See that? Okay. So the reason I'm damping the notes is just to, 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 to start off with. You don't play notes, you just damp them. You want here? Three, four. Yeah, the main thing is to practice. You need to practice. Make sure you're playing it correctly and uh, check this video out over and over again. You can rewind it, go back and see if you're doing it correctly. Record yourself on, on, on your phone camera and see if you're playing it correctly. If you watch yourself playing, you can see, oh, I got my fingers right or wrong. Those are very important. So I used to do that in front of a mirror. I used to play in front of a mirror and see if my fingers are in the right place. So let's wish you all the best. Thank you.